Good morning, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to Monday Morning Video Announcements. All right, with it being Monday Morning Video Announcements, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our students of the week. So they're going to introduce themselves, say what teacher nominated them, and why they were nominated. So our first one, go ahead. My name is Quinn Kelly. Uh, I Mrs. Spielman. And I've been and I've been nominated for being responsible by Mrs. Spielman. Thank you, Quinn. All right, there you go, buddy. There's your certificate. And our next one, sit down. There you go. My name is Daniel Lowe and I was nominated for being responsible by Michelle. Very good. Congratulations, Daniel. All right, Reese, come on over. My name is Reese Coleman, and I was nominated by Mr. Shomo for being responsible. Thank you. Everybody's more responsible than Mr. Shomo, so, you know. I'm Serena, and I was nominated by Mrs. Stein for being responsible. All right. Thank you very much. Don't forget your Chick-fil-A. All right. And those are our great students of the week. You guys have a great day, and congratulations to our students of the week. All right. We the people, you're going to have your informational meeting tomorrow morning at 7.15 in the launch pad. If you like debates and arguing, if you have plans to be a prospective lawyer, this is the club for you. All right. If you have any questions or want additional information, see Mr. Hammer in room 200 or Mr. Grudermuth. But remember, you're going to meet tomorrow morning at 7.15 in the launch pad. All right. And since it is Monday video announcements, we have our character awards presented by Mr. Stern and Mr. DeJoy. Good morning or good afternoon, depending on when you are watching announcements. Uh, we have a couple of character awards this week that go with the Sandwich Project. Our first character award winner is Sarah Walquist, and this one reads, She is helping put on a Halloween party, or she did, and if I'm not mistaken, this was part of the Bethany House. Uh, they set up games, they brought in fire trucks, they provided food, and this was for the homeless. So I um, really added some um, spice to the Halloween uh, festivities for some people who might not have definitely had the opportunity that we had here in the Sycamore District. It also says um, she was part of the stage crew. She was always positive and helping people uh, throughout. And yeah, we can't forget stage crew and what they do for uh, the amazing shows that we do here at the junior high. And our second winner goes to a young lady named Arushi. And a friend of yours says she includes everybody. When we are talking, for example, she'll interrupt us to say hi to someone that we don't even know. She has so many friends because of that very reason. And Arushi, I, I think the thing that stuck out on your character award nomination was the word include. And I think your friend noticed that as well, that you do um, include everybody. And uh, we're so thankful that you're doing that here at the junior high. Hey, uh, this week uh, we are with uh, Milligan and Shomo and Spielman. We'll be talking to your classes on Tuesday of this week. And We'll be making sandwiches on Thursday because we make sandwiches on Thursday. You can make a difference any day of the week. All right, congratulations to our character awards. All right, if you're interested in wrestling, the first day of wrestling conditioning will be tomorrow. That is Tuesday, November 12th from 3.15 to 4.30 in the wrestling room. Make sure all of your paperwork is complete on final forms. So the Sycamore Junior High Student Council and Operation Give Back are teaming up to give back to our community. Operation Give Back is pledged to give resources for those in need this holiday season, but we need your help. From November 13th to December 6th, we, will be co we are collecting apparel or gift cards. New clothing or gently used coat donations can be dropped off in the bin in the front lobby, and gift card go donations can be dropped off in the box in Officer Martin's office. See a student council member, Mrs. DiOrio or Mrs. Wine, if you have any questions. And remember, tis the season for giving, especially some to people who may be less fortunate. Math Club, you're going to meet twice this week. First on Tuesday, November 12th, after school in room 137, when the AMC 8 contest will be given. Then on Wednesday, November 13th, students will compete in both the Math Madness and the first Math Olympiad contest. Please arrive on time and be ready to get started both days. All right, you guys notice we did not start with the Pledge of Allegiance today because today is a very special day. Today is Veterans Day. And Veterans Day is to commemorate all of our veterans, all of our people who have served in the military. Um, on this, uh, November 11, 1918, an eerie silence settled over the war-torn battlefields of Europe. 
The First World War, the war to end all wars, had ended with an armistice. One year later, President Woodrow Wilson proclaimed November 11th as Armistice Day to remind Americans of the millions of soldiers who served in our armed forces to make the world safe for democracy. Veterans Day was originally called Armistice Day to commemorate the end of World War I. In 1954, President Dwight D. Eisenhower signed a bill proclaiming Veterans Day a day to remember all the men and women who have served in the armed forces. We hope that you keep them in your thoughts and prayers for the sacrifices these, those people have made to keep our country free. We have some veterans in the building. Several of our staff members are veterans. Uh, I know my father was a veteran. So, you know, this is a day to remember all the people, men and women, who have served in our armed forces. It is the veteran who gives us the right to free speech and religion. It is the veteran who gives us the right to vote. It is the veteran who gives us the freedom to live in this great country. So, now, let's everyone please stand and face the flag, and we will now give the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Have a great Veterans Day. Have a great Monday, and we'll see you tomorrow.